Hello, welcome to Biograd TV. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. How political parties started in Nigeria The entity called Nigeria was formed by the joining of the Northern and Southern Nigerian Protectorates in 1914. Then it was known as the Colony and Protectorate of Nigeria. This creation, however, brought together as one political entity people of diverse ethnicities, cultures, languages, and few common grounds. So it was not surprising then that there really was no strong and widespread sense of nationalism at the time. People still thought more in terms of their ethnic groups or regions. Only a few saw beyond their ethnic groups and began thinking in the direction of a Nigerian nationalism and even Pan-Africanism. This notwithstanding, it was an undeniable fact that the vast majority of the people did not like being ruled and controlled by the British. They wanted to be in charge of their own destinies without being held back by the colonial masters. It was under such conditions that the few nationalists of that time began to build systems that would later become political parties. These nationalists wanted increased participation at least on a regional level in the governmental process. In the north, the British were using the system known as indirect rule, which allowed the emirs to continue as political and spiritual leaders while submitting to British authority. But the south opposed the indirect rule system and had the loudest clamor for self-government. They began pushing for their demands through activism. Nigerian students abroad, especially at British schools, joined students from other colonies in Pan-African groups such as the West African Student Union, which was founded in London in 1925. Political opposition to colonial rule also assumed religious dimensions with the emergence of independent Christian churches in Nigeria. From the pulpit, anti-colonial sentiments were being expressed. The 1920s saw the formation of a variety of associations by Nigerians. They included professional and business associations like the Nigerian Union of Teachers, the Nigerian Law Association, and the Nigerian Produce Traders Association, headed by Obafemi Awolowo. Although these associations were originally set up for professional and fraternal reasons, they became platforms for a crop of educated Nigerians to develop their leadership skills as well as form broad social networks. Also, ethnic and kinship organizations emerged in the 1920s. These organizations, which were often established in urban areas, came about as more and more people migrated from rural to urban areas and needed something that would draw them together and serve as the link to their homelands. But what started as local clubs of sorts later expanded into federations covering whole regions. However, it was Herbert Macaulay, who is considered as the father of Nigerian nationalism, that first took the bold step to rally together the various interest groups, especially in Lagos, to form what became Nigeria's first political party, the Nigerian National Democratic Party NNDP. This was in 1923. Macaulay took advantage of the new Clifford constitution as introduced by Sir Hugh Clifford, who succeeded Sir Frederick Lugard as Governor General of Nigeria. The constitution allowed for more participation in government for Nigerians. The party won all the seats in the elections of 1923, 1928, and 1933 for the Lagos Legislative Council. It contested against independence and the People's Union, a Lagos-based association formed in 1908. The NNDP dominated the politics of Lagos until 1938, which saw the emergence of the Nigerian Youth Movement NYM, at the top. NYM was formed in 1933 
and went on to win elections against the NNDP in 1938. NYM produced future leaders like Dr. Unamdi Azikiwe, who became a leading voice for national unity, and Chief Hezekiah Oladipo Davis. By 1941, the NYM began to experience internal challenges that ultimately led it to fall. By 1944, a new party emerged in the form of the National Council of Nigeria and the Cameroons NCNC, with Macaulay as its president and Azikiwe as secretary. Azikiwe soon went on to become the president of the party. The party is the third prominent political party that was established in Nigeria. NCNC became very popular in the eastern region where it won the majority votes in the House of Assembly. Chief Obafemi Awolowo, in a bid to checkmate the NCNC from controlling the western region, formed another political party known as the Action Group AG on the 21st of March 1951. Omoegbe Oduduwa, the kinship Yoruba ethnic association he established in the 1940s, was the nucleus of the AG political party, hence giving it a Yoruba outlook just like the NCNC had taken on an Eastern Igbo outlook, even though it had a nationalistic approach and idea initially. The northern region, which was predominantly Muslim, was not left out of the trend of the formation of political parties. Although the system of indirect rule had proven very successful in the region, and the drive for full self-government was not as forceful there as it was in the West and the East, they did not miss an opportunity to form a political party with a northern outlook. So, in 1949, the Northern People's Congress NPC, was formed with Sir Amadou Bello, who was the Sadauna of Sokoto and also the Premier of the Northern Region, as its leader. Sir Alhaji Abubakar Tafawa Balewa served as the deputy leader of the party. In the elections held in 1959, just before Niger's independence, none of the three parties was able to win the majority votes. However, a coalition was formed between the NCNC and NPC, leaving out the AG. With this arrangement, the coalition won and upon attaining independence in 1960, Namdi Azikiwe of the NCNC emerged as the first indigenous governor-general of Nigeria and Tafawa Balewa of the NPC as the prime minister. Obafemi Awolowo of the AG effectively became the leader of the opposition. Since then, the political landscape of Nigeria continues to be shaped by various forces and factors that have seen several political parties formed and dissolved. Beginning with just one political party in 1923, Nigeria today has several political parties, each fighting for dominance. Before the general elections in 2019, there were 92 political parties in Nigeria. However, that number was reduced to 18 in 2020 after a reassessment of the political parties by the Independent National Electoral Commission INEC. What have we missed out of this history? Let's know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.